What's going on, Aquarian Police Force? Welcome back. It's Thursday. We've almost made it to the weekend. One more day, and then we can just coast into the sun's out. It's summertime. I live up here in Canada, so it's always freezing, but we're ready for the warm weather. So anyways, we're almost at 10 episodes in. And uh, again, this is a new channel, and we have a lot of returning viewers, but uh, analytics say that only 2% are of those people are subscribers. So make sure you're not part of those 98% who are coming back every week to see the crazy fish tanks that people have. So I think we've determined through the community that we're going to be calling this show your weekly Thursday show, What the Fish? And uh, I think it's a pretty catchy thing, and I think we're going to stick with it uh, going forward. So thanks to everyone who's uh, made their comments and uh, made this uh, you know small community grow and grow. So today I want you to stick around to the end of the video, because again, we're the only YouTube channel that goes through people's crappy aquariums and gives them a five-star wanted rating on how bad their aquariums are. So we're not saying how good they are. Five stars means that they are so bad that we want them and we want the police to go and get them and talk to them about. Aquarium police here investigating a toilet tank, which is how we got the name is, what the fish are these people talking about? So it's all thanks to you guys. So this week, I want you guys to stick around to the end of the video because I have a little bit of a community involvement project here. Uh, I had a little bit of a run-in scenario with a real live crappy aquarium. And I honestly, I was a little bit nervous because I'm just not uh, big enough to be, you know, calling people out for their stuff. So if this video gets a thousand likes based off of what we say at the end of the video, then I'll go and, uh, and we'll talk about it at the end of the video. So make sure you sit, check out the end of the video and we'll get through it, okay? So anyways, first off, here we go. So it looks like right off the hop here, we got uh, your typical TikTok uh, troll guy just trying to look for some uh, brutal clips here, but I don't know what the heck he's got going on in the back of this truck here. He looks he's got some a uh, little bit of toilet water running here, but I don't know what he got. So right off the hop here, we say, so first of all, this water looks murky. <laughs> this guy is not self-sustaining anything. He's barely can self-sustain his truck that he got this poor fish tank boiling in the back seat of. This is supposed to be a POV when you start a self-sustaining river aquarium with river fish. It's like, come on, buddy. Like, you're supposed to leave in the river here, not pick them up and put them in the back of your beat-up pickup truck. Holy Jesus, this guy, like, left his eggs out to rot for five days in the sun. These fish have been stinky in there for quite a while. And then he's like, oh, I might as well rip up the phone and take a quick video. So we check out this guy's... Uh... Actually, first of all, I want to go through the comments here because... Uh, the. Uh, I did. I know I said I wanted the heat from people before, but I mean, I need this guy's. I need this guy's comments on my page because people are chewing me out because I got one string of hair algae in one of my short videos, and this guy's got four floating dead fish that look like they've been rotting in the sun for seven days on the old sous vide. We're doing a little sous vide on the river fish, and this guy's like, "Oh, oh, oh! You should have put a bubbler in it. You should have put a bubbler in it." It's like, holy jeez! Like, I need. This is the friendliest community I've ever seen, but I don't know. So. This guy, obviously, he's got some sort of troll account because I've seen, like, looking through his other channels here, he's got a bunch of fish. Like, here we got his beta fish. Beta fish in a tiny glass vase. And so this is clearly for Cloud. He's doing all this stuff for, for views. So I'm not a big fan of this guy. Um, so what are you guys thinking on this one? Put your comments down below. What do you guys think uh, out of five? I'm leaning towards more of a, I think, I'm going to say a three-star um, you know, the vase isn't too small, but uh, it's pretty bad and it's got some plants in there. So it's not the worst thing. Uh, actually, it's pretty small. So, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to go four stars. Uh, we're going to go three for the bad fish tank. We're going to do the extra bonus star because he's looking for the clout on uh, his crappy aquarium. And then obviously just like scooping up dead river fish out of the out of the stream and then just like cooking them sous vide in the back of his dusty old pickup truck. Like, come on, bud, fish it out. So. On to the next one. So you wonder why, oh, hold on here. So again, like, I guess my own algorithm on this Aquarium Police channel is like pushing out um, content on like fish abuse because when I'm trying to watch like regular YouTube and then like random like crap, random crap pops up on my thing and I'm just like, oh, you know, I gotta like have the clicker. I'm like, oh, get, get off. Get off. But uh, I mean, I, like this one just literally just popped up on my screen. And it's just like, man, like, you know, it's a ton of views. 
ton of likes, which is even scarier because I mean, my channel ratios, you know, it's like 95%. There's only a few haters out there, but you know, hate us because they ain't us. So, um, pressure makes diamonds, boys and girls. So let's go. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the like, like ratio is like 500,000 likes on that. Like, I don't know who's liking these videos because this is literally the definition of like just teasing or torturing your animal, which is a fish. So I'm not a big fan of this one. Like not, not the two creatures, one, one cup I'm thinking of here, but I do not think that, uh, you know, people should just be boasting beta fights. I mean, you know, rooster fights are illegal and now we're, we're shooting out, uh, beta, beta fights online here and on YouTube and they're allowed it. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but, uh, you know, one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one solo death match in the tiny cup, not a good luck. So we're going to go straight up four to five stars uh for just uh enticing public disturbance for fighting i don't know but uh, you guys let me know in the, in the comments below what you guys think all right so as i said at the start of the video uh this is gonna be a little bit more of community involvement today we had one of our community members reach out about a few online youtubers these are big guys so i'm gonna tag them in the video and just i'm gonna flat out ask them just say i've looked at this guy's channel uh he has zero live uh videos for this so I'm gonna say it. So this is Bass Fishing Productions. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. I've watched some of his videos. I mean, they are entertaining videos, so he is a good YouTuber. However, um, you know, it just seems like really, I don't know what, what like what the Gen Z, what, what do the Gen Z say? It's very sus, it's so sus. Um, because <laughs> this guy literally pulls out probably about like $400 of like aquarium fish from one single sewer and it just is like, I don't know. It just is like, you know, I, he lives in, I think it's Florida. I could be wrong, but um, I mean, you either are like the luckiest guy in the world or Florida sewers are like, you know, uh, the, the Petco discard pile here because like, again, like this guy pulls out Oscar Cichlid, uh, Oscar Cichlid. Oh, oh yeah, we got another one. Back to back, there's so many fish in here. What is it? Rainbow cichlid, he pulls out like a salamander or a gecko and he pulls out like these rope fish and it's just like back to back to back. So again, I, I'm going to call him out. I think this is fake or I want you to do a live video, live stream of you just digging um, these aquarium fish out of the sewer uh, with no edits or cuts because uh, obviously we all know I take like 100 takes to make one sentence because I'm an old man wearing a bucket hat doing YouTube stuff. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but we'll play the thing here and um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, so I've tagged him in the video. Let me know what your th uh, comments are and uh, we'll see what's going on and uh, shout out to um, get this guy into a bigger tub in the back of my truck. There he goes. Well, let's keep going and see what else we can find. Oh, it looks like, <gasps> wait, I think it's a lungfish. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever caught one in a sewer before. This is a little baby lungfish, you guys, look. <clears throat> so we got uh, loop 27. He goes, hey, so it's not really a topic uh, to policing aquariums, but we have seen the YouTubers buy and release aquarium fish into the wild so they can pretend to catch them for views. They find them in dumpsters and sewer water tier stagnant ponds. I, like it needs attention and something you can check out. Rob's Aquatics and Bass Fishing Productions are two channels like this. Uh, but there are many clones. So what do you guys think? Again, like, you know, this is a community channel. Everyone here, I uh, say either tag me, I uh, have my email in the description. You can send me an email with videos or things that you find and we'll look into it. So what are your thoughts on this? Comment below. I want to know. Uh, these guys are big channels. And again, they're, in it, uh, they're entertaining channels. So the YouTube production's there, but like, again, like it literally looks like this guy's just dumped, like he went and brought his own fish in and dumped them in the sewer and then just caught them with a, a pool net. So, I mean, I think you would have to be pretty brain dead to believe that this is a real thing. But again, you know, I just checked it out briefly. I watched maybe two videos about it. Um, but again, I didn't see any live videos. So I'm gonna call it out on a live stream of you doing it unedited live. We'll do it like cops TV, you know, so anyways, let me know what you guys think. So then this last one here, 
uh, I went into, I was with, I was with my family, went into a local barber shop. Um, obviously not me, which is why I wear the water change bucket hat while we're doing the, the show. And uh, anyways, I'll let you guys see here. So we got poor Clippy here, um, you know, and I, I walked in, I saw it and I was like, oh my, like, you know, I was like, oh my God, what the fish, what the fish is this? So, but like, I know I'm, I'm a small beginning YouTube channel, so I'm not like ready to go up in people's faces, get the cameras going and be like, you can't do this, our poor baby. So if this video gets a thousand likes, I will donate a tank. I'll speak to the manager and I'll just say, hey, we're filming a YouTube video uh for basically glowing up fish tanks i'll do this i'll make a video of it and post it so a thousand likes call it out now i can't guarantee that uh, i'm gonna go make a nice aquascape for this because again uh it's currently in a little tiny crappy you know half dome uh you know marble inert gravel with a with a crappy plastic plant so but uh maybe i can work out something with my kids i'll you know I'll come do a free aquascape every you know, month, a couple months and then I get my boys a free haircut or something like that. So we'll see. So thousand likes on this video. We'll do it. Uh, let's hit that goal. And uh, for now, we're going to give him a three star. Uh, we'll give him a two star rating uh, because it is uh, it's probably about 2.9 gallons, but it is very clean. And I know they do water changes because I was talking to them about it, but I was just trying to be discreet, like twitching inside. I was like, you, you can't do this to the fish. Those poor fish. So anyways, thousand likes. Let's get it, guys. Um, anyways, that's all we got for this week. It's a short one, but uh, comment on Bass, uh, Bass Productions and as well as uh, let me hear what you guys think about Mr. Clippy and the uh, the barbershop fiasco. And uh, we'll see you guys all next week. Thanks for tuning in to What the Fish.